Good morning, everyone. Okay, this is just a talking head video. <laughs> just sitting here doing my laundry, and I just thought I'd get on and, you know, chit chat with you guys. Um, I have a few ideas that I want to run by you guys and see if you guys are interested. Um, if my friend is available right now, I'm going to be watching her house, but when she gets back, we thought about doing a video where she will give words of knowledge. She would prophesy over people. We're not going to do a live, um, but we'll just, you know, record it and then post it. And then whatever God shows her, whatever, you know, names he gives her and information he gives her, we'll just post. She doesn't know who my followers are, the names. I mean, half the people I don't even know because a lot of times you'll use just a you know, a channel name, so it doesn't show your information. Um, so, and I don't know the details of people's lives, but you know, God does, God knows every little detail. So if you are interested, I don't want to say, you know, comment or like, because the skeptical people will say, well, you know, someone commented or they liked and, um, and then you research their information and that's how you got the details. So we're not going to do any of that. It's just, just, it's going to be just let God work. Um, whoever wants to watch it, I'll post it um, probably during the week. Uh, she should be back in a couple days and we'll be able to do that if there's time. We talked about it, but then she ended up going out of town. So we weren't able to do it. Um, and so what will happen is she'll just give a description of someone, a name of someone, the details of their life, and then what God wants to tell them, you know, because God knows that person. And that's how I met her is I was testing God to see if he was real, if he was a personal God that, you know, had a relationship with me. And I tested him and I asked him three questions and I gave him 24 hours to answer. I don't suggest that for other people because <laughs> that's just the way he spoke to me. Um, I mean, test him, he'll, he'll answer. Um, and so that's how, you know, he used her was he, she contacted me on Facebook. We had never corresponded before. We had never talked before and she lived hours away and she answered the three questions that I had for God. So it made it very real to me. I still tested God after that. I don't know why I'm very, you know, I need a lot of proof. And God always came through. So I eventually I got to the point where, okay, okay. You know, I give, I give, I give. You're real. You're real. Not only are you real, because a lot of people believe in God. But what I wanted to know was if he was a personal, relational God that heard our prayers. So if you're interested, keep an eye out for that video. And maybe your name will be called if you have certain um, prayer requests. You don't have to be you know, quiet about that. If you want, you know, like, let's say you want a, us to pray for, you know, a family member, you know, we will pray for a family member. So you really don't need words of knowledge for that. But if there's something, if you're doubting God or you're struggling with something and you don't want to talk about it, you know, but you want to know that God hears you and he um, sees you, um, keep an eye out for that video. Anyway, she's given me words of people that I would meet on the road and descriptions and I feel like I have met a few of those people. I still have a few more to uh, cross paths. So that kind of tells me that my time is not finished yet. And so I'm always keeping an eye out and there's always other people that, you know, she hasn't called out that I run across and pray for and, you know, just being at the right place at the right time. So God's always working. You know, he's always, he's always with me. And so that's the one thing, you know, he's told me is, you know, I will never leave you nor forsake you. And the other thing he's told me is you will never starve to death. <laughs> so I'm just like always, always very well fed. Um, maybe too well fed. I need, I need to put my steps in. Let's put it that way. I need to, although winter's coming. So you do want like a little bit of a, um, you know, extra cushion to keep you warm you don't want to be like too thin uh my bones get cold everything gets cold so it's like i don't mind having a little bit of a winter coat <laughs> 
So anyways, um, oh, and Roxy, you want to say hi to everybody? Roxy. She's looking out the window. She, I think she wants to go outside. Um, all right, say, I'm going to say goodbye and keep an eye out for that video, guys. And here's Roxy. 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 Hey, want to go outside? I don't know if you guys can see her. Hey. Hey. Want to go outside? She's getting a little nervous. Want to go outside? Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Roxy, let's go. She's looking at that guy taking pictures of his truck. All right. Ready? Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Want to go outside? There we go. Mm -hmm. There we go. Want to go outside? Yeah. Say, say hello to everybody. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Let me get my cushion off the seat so you can jump. Come on, super girl. Woo. All right. Slow it down. Okay. Bye, guys. Say goodbye. Where are you?